person, but you know we're we're happy we're happy with where we're at. You know we we won the, the Western Conference, which is a stacked conference, uh, loaded with talent, loaded with great teams. Um, but we know we want that that bigger trophy. It was that crowd. They're so excited. You know, <laughs> congratulations, coach. How about Anthony Davis steps up to the mic? What do you say? It's a great feeling, but we got four more to win for the ultimate goal. So uh, while we enjoy this, we still got work to do. Since day one, LeBron James has said this offense has to run through Anthony Davis, so there's no point of having him on the floor. What kind of responsibility do you take in that? Um, it's my job. That's why Rob and, and the front office brought me here to be able to compete for a championship with these guys. Put a great team together uh, and talked to LeBron beginning of the year. And he told me, you know, we're going to go as far as, as you go. So. Um, I took that responsibility with him and all these guys, you know, following me and, and, and helping me along the journey. I mean, it's tough. I've never been in a situation before, but having a group of guys like this, it makes it a lot easier for me. Congratulations on the win. Thank Enjoy it. it. How about our general manager, Rob Polinka? Rob, do you want to... Rob, do you want to say a few? <laughs> you said... We were intentional, intentional about looking for players who were winners to fill this roster. There are 15 championships between your players and your coaches. What makes this the team that can add one more for everybody else? That's the biggest thing, man, just the character, the championship character these guys have. That was something that everybody in the front office identified as we put the pieces together. Um, and that championship character is going to carry us in the next round when we play either the Celtics or the Heat. And like Coach said, our job's not done. We got four more wins to go. Congratulations, Rob. And now the man, the myth, the legend, LeBron James. LeBron, you've been known to say, don't talk about it, be about it. And you were all about it in that fourth quarter. Your playoff experience now in your 17th year in the league. How did you channel that experience to take over there in the fourth? Um, I channeled it through my teammates. Uh, my teammates said, "Bring us home," and um, it's my responsibility to try to make the right plays and do the right things out on the floor to help us win ball games. Um, we have a few guys on our team that's never been to the finals before, so I took that responsibility as well. And um, you know, my shoulders is wide enough to carry a lot of load. Uh, but my mind is stronger. I always keep my mind strong, and I'm happy to just be in this position. How much of this is joy, and how much is still business to be done? Uh, we're going to enjoy it tonight, as we should, because this is not promised every year. Um, there's only two teams that can advance to the finals every year, um, and that means it's uh, pretty much 30 players um, that only advance every year to the finals. So we're going to enjoy it tonight, but we understand that we got bigger fish to fry. Um, we understand there's a bigger goal. Um, but we can't take this for granted because this doesn't happen every year to, to anybody. Congratulations, LeBron. Enjoy your right, fun night, you. everybody. Your Western Conference champions, Los Angeles Lakers. Well, after a six-year drought, the Lakers not only back in the playoffs, but they have rolled through the first three phases of these playoffs. They are the champions of the Western Conference. And for the 32nd time in franchise history, Reggie, the Los Angeles Lakers are going back to the NBA Finals, and they are led by LeBron James. It'll be 10 for him in the last 11 seasons. Think about that. 10 times in the NBA Finals out of your 17-year career. I mean, what hasn't he done? And tonight, the way he finished the game, he was absolutely spectacular. Triple-double, 38 points, 16 rebounds, 10 assists. And to me, his experience when he said he had wide shoulders, because there's a lot of guys that have not been to the NBA Finals, he showed them and led them the way, Chris. He sure did. And right after he talked about his shoulders, he talked about his brain power. And that brain power helped him recruit Anthony Davis. That's and right. for those of you out there that want to know a little bit about this man's playoff history, not just this season, let me tell you what you're going to get in the Finals with him or what he's shown to do. 
His career average in the playoffs is 30 points, shooting 55% from the field and getting you 11 rebounds. If I'm a Lakers fan, I like our chances with those two. Well, the way they closed the game, too, tw the last 27 points, 23 of those coming from LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and LeBron goes for a 38-point triple-double here tonight, his fourth career playoff triple-double this year since turning 35 years of age, by the way. Only three other NBA players have ever done it once. Elgin Baylor, John Stockton, and Chris Paul. Wow. Quick note, Nuggets, fantastic yes. run. Twice answering a 3-1 deficit. Couldn't do it tonight, but this team is built to win, built to last. Congratulations to Michael Malone and his team. The Nuggets are formidable, it looks like, for many years in the Western Conference. That'll be it from Orlando as we remind you to tune in to ESPN Sunday night for Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Heat lead the Celtics 3-2 in that series. Coming up out of the break, we'll send it to Atlanta as Inside the NBA continues with EJ, Charles, Kenny, and Jack. For Chris and Reggie and Allie, Brian Anderson saying so long for now.